Let's talk about different patterns that you'll build using Azure Data Factory as Dataflow. A very common operation that you'll perform with Dataflow will be cleaning string text data. And so a very common domain problem is to clean addresses, customer addresses, for example. So how would we do that in ADF's Dataflow? Let's do this with a very simple example. So I'm going to start by building a new Dataflow. And let's call it clean addresses. I'm going to add a source of a CSV file that I have in my blob store. So I'll call my source as address source. And I have a blob with addresses in it. It's a CSV file. Let's go ahead and go into a move into debug mode so that we can watch the um, results of the data flow as we uh, while we're building the uh, data flow. Okay, so I'm moving into debug mode. All right, and while that is starting up, uh, let's see, I have, I'm not going to use schema drift in this example. So I know my schema. So the difference between schema drift and having a defined schema is I can go into define schema and I'm going to be using these columns. So here's a quick look at the very simple example that I have here of an address file. So I have, uh, as is very common with um, a file of customer data, I have uh, an, uh, the ID, which is essentially the primary key for the data. Then I have an address one, address two, a city. Then I have some other columns. I'm not really too worried about those. I haven't defined them. But this is a defined schema. So I'm going to ask Data Factory to uh, clean up these three address fields. So the way to do that now is to add a derived column. That's the way you're going to do that in Dataflow. So I'll call my derived column, I'll call this um, clean um, address. Now I could take each column one by one since I have a defined schema on the inspect tab, I'll be able to see this is my incoming schema. And then I can also see the output schema. The output schema and incoming schema are gonna be identical right now because I haven't uh, derived anything yet. So I could do this, I could pick each one one by one. I could say I want to, uh, I want to clean address one, I want to clean address two, and I want to clean city. Okay, that's certainly fine to do it that way. Now, a more simpler way that can um, also account for a schema drift or be able to do this all in uh, uh, one single step, a much more productive way to do that would be to add what's known as a column pattern. So I'm going to use a column pattern. I'll take out these individual one by one rows that I was uh, initially started with. Now, if I do a column pattern, something I could do here is I could say, well, you know what? I know that every column coming in from my address file, my address CSV, is going to be associated with an address. So I want to do the same sort of thing uh, with that. So let's uh, uh, do a match on any incoming column that is of type string. Now what I can say is the column name will then be dollar dollar is the indicator of the incoming match. I want to take that incoming column name, I'm going to append to it underscore clean, so I know that that is a cleaned version of that field. Now the expression I'm going to use to clean it with is my, where I write the expression within the data flow expression language. So let's do this, let's take out, uh, let's do a trim. Now, um, because this is using column uh, pattern matching, I need to say dollar dollar again. So anything that matches that string type will drop into here. Let's take out any double spaces. So I know that anything more than a single space is going to be just some garbage data in my address. I'm gonna clean that up. Let's do something real simple. Let's just start with that. Go ahead and save and finish that. And that looks fine. This will now do, if I was going to trim out double spaces more than a single space within any of those address fields, it's much easier to do it this way with a pattern match rather than doing one by one. Now I can go into my data preview and let's take a look at that. Let's make sure that I have the results that I'm looking for. Okay, so here are the original fields, address one, address two, and city. Now what we'll do here within um, ADF is let's scroll over to the end of the original incoming data and you'll see the derived columns now. So these were the columns that matched my data type. You can see right here the indicator of uh, those columns as being strings. And I've appended the underscore clean to each of them. Now these are the cleaned versions of them. Now you can't really see any difference because perhaps I didn't have double spaces in those or it's not really visible because it was just spaces anyway. Let's do something a little bit, let's do 
one more uh, step within that cleaning of the addresses back in the derived column settings. Let's take out those dots. If you see the, the periods for the abbreviations, I don't like those. I just want to have it clean with no dots in there. So let's take out the dots as well. Now this way I can apply this across any column type of string that has to do with address within my um, transformation here. So what I'll do to do that is I'll go back into the expression and I'm going to do an inner trim. So I'm going to do a trim of a trim. So this inner trim will have my uh, reference to the incoming column and I'm going to take out the dots. So now I'll take out both periods as well as double spaces. Notice in the expression language for ADF data flow it is single quotes for the um, for uh, for literal strings. Save and finish that. That looks fine. Let's take a, a data preview and let's see if I'm getting the results now that I was looking for. Okay, and again, let's scroll over to see what we got. And there we go. We have uh, no um, extra spaces and we have no dots uh, in the <coughs> in the field values any longer. So that's a way to do a clean address, um, cleaning operations such as cleaning up addresses very productively within um, ADF's data flow. Now, of course, this is all within sort of a, a data prep environment. To be able to then take this to the next step, to be able to sync this to a right-hand side, you would add a sync for your destination onto your data flow, and then you can put that into, uh, you know, your, your database, your data warehouse, somewhere in your lake, or um, whatever you'd like to, and then you can also use copy activity to move that into any of the other 75-plus connectors that we have in Data Factory. Okay, thanks for watching.